Well, next we can head to Greenland, where satellite imagery shows the extent of the melting after what was the hottest ever July on record. Rosie and the Cube team have the story. The World Meteorological Association say that every photo shows a story. Well, I'd like to show you two back to back. Uh, they've shared this online because using satellite images, images shot from Earth, we can see the extent of the Greenland ice melting. This is August 2018. Now, keep an eye on these spots here because this was the same picture, the same satellite image, but this year instead, this August. Uh, now, look at these much larger areas of blue water, melt water, around the ice. Now this is causing real concern to scientists and using those satellite images we can really clearly see what's been happening in Greenland particularly over the last month. NASA here is sharing that in July there was a major melting event spread across the Greenland ice sheet. Billions of tons of meltwater streamed into the Atlantic Ocean and we can look actually at the world mean temperature over the last few oh, yeah, years. Uh, here we have them here uh, and these lines here denote the world median temperature over the year. You can see uh, this is where it started in the 80s. That increase year on year, that red line getting higher and higher, showing the world's temperature going up and up. Now this is causing concern using those satellite images as well from kind of Europe's eye in space that's Cornepius, we can see here this picture of France and of uh, Spain. Now I want you to keep an eye on two things. First of all, see this dry land here, but this is the Pyrenees and also the Alps. Now let's look from one month to the next. Uh, this is what we see, a much more vast area of dry land. The Pyrenees, you can't almost uh, see them there, and also the Alps, much reduced uh, snow on top there. The consequence of this, of course, is that we need to be more closely monitoring Earth satellites and their vision of the Earth to better understand what's going on. Now, only just last night, the European Space Agency launched yet another satellite to try and better understand in real time what's happening from space on the Earth's surface.